how can the brain perceive touch in the foot? Well, the neuron which perceives the sense of touch is known as the first order neuron. It will travel all the way up the leg into the spinal cord and then all the way up the spinal cord through the posterior column. It synapses in the medulla oblongata where a second order neuron carries this touch information through uh, the brain stem to the thalamus. This pathway is known as the medial lemniscus and along the pathway the second order neuron crosses to the opposite side of the body. In the case of pain stimuli, pain, the first order neuron which perceives the pain will travel to the spinal cord where it synapses with a second order neuron. The second order neuron then crosses to the opposite side of the body and rises through the spinal cord through the spinothalamic tract. For both pain and touch, the third order neuron travels from the thalamus to the somatosensory cortex of the cerebrum where we are consciously aware of the stimulus. Behind the central sulcus is the post-central gyrus, which is also known as the somatosensory cortex because it contains a representation of the body, a sensory map of the body. So the face is represented in one region, the trunk and hand in another, the legs in another, more on the medial side. So that if there is a stimulus, a touch or pain stimulus, say in the face or cheek, that this would register in one region. If there is a stimulus on the hand, that would be registered in another, in the hip another, and the leg another. So the brain would know what part of the body was experiencing touch or pain based on which area of the somatosensory cortex was receiving the stimulus. At first glance, the maps of the body which we would find on the sensory or motor cortex wouldn't seem to be accurate. The face and hands are far larger than they are in actuality, and the back and legs are far smaller. However, these maps in the brain are not meant to correspond with anatomical size. They rather have a different significance. The larger an area dedicated to a part of the body on the sensory cortex, the greater our precision in locating a stimulus there. The greater an area uh, on the motor cortex, the greater our ability to precisely coordinate muscle movements there. So these brain regions correspond with the precision to detect movement in the sensory cortex or the precision of motor control in the motor cortex.